Hi, Yarny friends. This is Stephanie with Stephanie's Yarn Escape. Thank you for joining me today for day four of 12 Days of Gnomes. If you guys haven't followed um, me already before, I'm doing the 12 Days of Gnomes with Chrissy from Crochet Creations by Chrissy. And um, what we did is we exchanged 12 gifts. Um, one we're going to open every day um, that we each numbered. And we basically set no rules to that. So that's been a lot of fun. And we're also making 12 gnomes, six each. Um, and we're taking turns sharing them um, every other day. So that's a lot of fun. I just saw her gnome, her first gnome. And it is so stinking cute. She says she cheated at it, but she didn't. We set no rules to the gnomes. So I love it. I think it's adorable. I hope I get the chance to make one sometime um, once my schedule clears up. Um, so yeah, it is so cute. I love it. And I'm having a lot of fun making them too. I had this idea and I just ran with it. Um, yeah. So like I said, I'm doing these a day in advance. My lighting is a little bit darker because it's um, 5.30... Six o'clock at night, and so this is the best I can uh, get for lighting. Um, and that's okay. We're gonna do this. Um, I'm looking into possibly getting a lighting set um, for pictures and stuff for my things to take pictures with, and maybe even to do some better lighting um, for these recordings. So something I'm looking into. Um, might as well take that next step right so anyways um so today's not a day that i show a gnome i had two gnomes shown already my santa gnome and my um wrench gnome i on my facebook page there is a post there where you can share your gnomes and christy has one as well um share the gnomes that you make i hope you're enjoying that we're sharing this pattern i have the same pattern and i think she is too but i'm not sure um what she has planned for all of that and yeah share your gnomes if you make her pattern that she made or the pattern i made um or any gnomes that you may make while maybe feeling inspired from watching our 12 day 12 days of gnomes you might feel inspired to make a gnome so yeah share it we'd love to see it um so since today's not a gnome day for me um i want to share with you guys a yarny podcaster that i follow um his name is zach from stout stitch i love his work and most of you probably already heard of him but if you have it i think you should definitely check him out um i love his work um he's a excellent designer i've done a couple of his designs already and love them they're simple easy to follow patterns absolutely great um i love his personality and I just enjoy, really enjoy watching his podcast. So definitely check him out. I'll be sure to link him down below. So if you don't already follow him, maybe you might. Um, and so on now to the day four of the gift from Christy. And yes. So the first day I got this bag that says one of a kind. Sorry, my lighting's dark, so... But yes, bag with full of amazing goodies. Blew my mind. Day two, she got me these ice yarns in this beautiful color, which I'm not sure if you could see because, yes, my lighting. <laughs> Just a, one of the things of shooting at night. And Karen Pantone Bamboo was yesterday um, in the colorway Purple Scribbles. And she included one of her stitch markers. So, so far, I have been blown away from everything that she has gifted me and I the thing is is uh, the struggle that I'm dealing with is when I open it I want to go use it the yarn the ice yarns and the Karen Pantone I've instantly wanted to go create them but unfortunately I don't have the time um I am hoping to get to some of those very soon add that to my list so that is the major struggle that I'm on the struggle is real. The struggle is real. So today is day four. Day four and this cute red and white polka dots. All right. Let's see. 
Ooh. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Willow wheels. I don't, I don't have this in my collection. Every, oh my goodness. It is, let me, I'm just, okay. Color name is Paisley. It is 70% acrylic, 30% wool. Oh, it is so soft. It is, it is really dark in here, so it's hard to see everything. Does it have a thickness? I think it's a size three. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Look at these colors. Oh man, I, I hope you guys can see them with my lowered lighting. And is it blurry? Are we going to focus? Let's try. That's better. Pretty, pretty close to the colors that I'm seeing. The teals, the greens, the oranges. My goodness. I am excited. Is there a yardage? Oh, there we go. 377 yards. You can make something fairly nice with that. Oh my gosh. My wheels are, are spinning yet once again. I'm thinking a shawl. A pretty, not a huge shawl, just a pretty shawl that you can just wrap around your neck. Oh, and I got a few pattern ideas. Oh, man. This is, this is hard. This is so soft. I absolutely love it. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. And you know what's funny? is I don't have this in my collection, okay? I don't have the Karen Pantone in my collection. I don't have Ice Yarns in my collection. And it's just blowing my mind because, you know, I just, I just love it. I can't thank you enough, Christy. You seem to have gone into Stephanie mode when you create this package and you are hitting the nail on the head. Everything that I love, um, I really do appreciate it. I want to do this now. I want to do this now. How am I supposed to get through the other eight days not wanting to create something with these yarns? I can't. How do people do it? It's just like when you go yarn shopping and you get all these beautiful yarns. Um, you go like on a big haul yarn shopping and you pick all these beautiful yarns and you bring them home and you're just like looking at them. I show my husband and my daughter. I'm like, look what I got. Look, touch this yarn. Touch it. Look how soft it is. Look at this pretty color. And then I want to go make something. The idea that I had in my head of the reason why I purchased it. And that's not always the case, especially right now when I have so much going on. Um, it, it's hard. It is so hard to, to just to put it away until you can use it again. Um, I want to get to that point where when I feel the inspiration hitting me um, to make something with a yarn that I just received. I, I I want to be able to do that. Just like right now, I want to go whip up a shawl with this yarn. And I know I have other things I need to do that's a priority versus me just whipping up a shawl with this yarn. <sighs> I know you all can relate. You've been exactly where I've been. So I'll get through this. I'll struggle right through it. But guaranteed, you're going to see some of these yarns again soon in my regular videos that I do on Sundays because they're going to be whips and then they're going to be finished objects guaranteed very soon. So on that note, you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys tomorrow where I'll show my third gnome. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.